Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Madison Charlton from MLC Tech and now AMD's high performance Strix Point Halo APUs are set to launch later this year. Now we recently did a bunch of videos detailing the future of AMD APUs but we've not done one purely dedicated to the Strix Point Halo APUs. And now AMD has started rolling out driver support for its RDNA 3.5 GPUs which will feature in these upcoming APUs. So sit back and relax as we discuss all the details around AMD's next generation Strix Point APUs. Now the upcoming next generation Strix Point APUs are something that I am so looking forward to and quite frankly I've been holding out on getting a gaming type notebook or a portable handheld PC device as I'm holding out to the next generation of these APUs. But these Strix Point APUs will come in two different variants this time around, a monolithic and a chipset offering. Both these APUs are expected to feature the refined RDNA 3.5 integrated graphics with the lower end monolithic chip going with the GFX 1150 which has 16 compute units and the chiplet variant of this APU is going to go with the GFX 1151 which is a 40 compute unit GPU. Now we saw support drop from AMD for the monolithic version of this APU that being the GFX 1150 variant a while back now but as of today Team Red have finally dropped support for the higher end variant of this APU. Now in the Mesa 24.1 update for the Radeon SI-RADV drivers, AMD engineers have added the relevant code to enable the GFX 1151 IP and this means that the preliminary work has begun on its high-end Strix Point APU. And now there's not a whole lot of information within the code itself but the AMD Strix Point APUs are expected to be a major leap over the Hawk Point APUs which were mostly a refresh of the previous generation Phoenix chips that were based on the Zen 4 CPUs and the RDNA 3 graphics architecture. And now the Strix Point Halo APUs will incorporate the newest Zen 5 cores and the latest RDNA 3.5 graphics, which are expected to deliver significant better performance and better efficiency for these chips. And now while we can't dive into too much of these chips as the Zen 5 architecture hasn't fully been unveiled yet, we do have a whole load of details that we can go into for these chips. Now let's start off with the Ryzen 8550 Strix Point Monolithic APU. This will of course feature the Zen 5 4 nanometer monolithic design and have up to 12 cores in a hybrid configuration that be a mix of Zen 5 and Zen 5C, otherwise known as compressed cores. This will also have 32 megabytes of shared L3 cache, 16 RDNA 3.5 compute units, 128-bit LPDDR5X memory controller, XDNA2 Ryzen AI engine, and this AI engine is expected to deliver 20 TOPs of performance, and of course a second half of 2024 expected launch date. Now let's take a jump over to the premium version of this APU, that being the Ryzen 8050 Strix Point Halo APU. Now this is going to be using a Zen 5 chiplet design with up to 16 cores, which means we can expect to see a chiplet design of 8 core CCXs on one package. This will have 64 megabytes of shared L3 cache, 40 RDNA 3.5 compute units, 256-bit LPDDR5X memory controller, and this will also feature an XDNA2 Ryzen AI engine, but the main difference is that this will bring 50 TOPs of performance. And this is of course expected to also have the same launch window and that being the second half of 2024. Now I'm very super excited to be able to potentially get my hands on a Strix Point APU later in the second half of 2024 with the first APU shipments to OEMs commencing next year. And this will also be around the same time Intel will be offering its Arrow Lake and Lunar Lake line of CPUs which is the follow up to its Meteor Lake CPUs. And now I'm super excited with the launch of the Strix Point APUs as quite frankly I am dying to get my hands into the PC mobile gaming space as I would love to get something like a Steam Deck or an ROG Ally but I am still holding off getting one knowing that these APUs are right around the corner otherwise I would have got myself a current gen device now. But I already know if I go out and buy myself an RG Ally or a Steam Deck right now, later this year, I'm going to have serious regrets. So I'm still holding out as long as I can before biting the bullet and purchasing myself one of these devices. 
as I'm super excited to be able to get a chip with even more performance and even more efficiency as one of the big complaints I have with handhelds at the moment is the potential drain on its battery life so an AP which could improve this a little bit while also bringing significant more performance I am all for. Anyway, that's going to be it for today's video. Let me know all of your thoughts and opinions around this in the comments down below. What do you think of AMD's next generation of Strix Point APUs? And are you excited to potentially pick up a device featuring one of these next generation APUs? Let me know all of your thoughts around this in the comments down below. Anyway, I have been Madison Charlton from MLC Tech. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you liked it in any way, shape or form, make sure to give this video a like and maybe subscribe for more content like this in the future. Thank you so much for watching today's video and I hope to see you in another one soon. Goodbye for now.